What is Elon Musk hiding? What Tesla is planning for 2026 makes everything before look like child's play. The production numbers being whispered about are so massive, so shocking, that even seasoned industry experts can't believe what they're seeing. And in this video, you're going to see every detail of that hidden plan. Every update that's been locked away until now. And why this matters not just for Tesla, but for your future. So, before we dive in, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, because what you're about to discover, nobody else is telling you. How is Elon Musk using hidden technology to push Tesla to an almost unbelievable pace? 500 batteries every single second. This isn't speculation. This is unfolding right now. In the last six months, the picture has shifted dramatically. At Tesla's lithium refinery near Corpus Christi, the kiln has been fired up and is already processing raw materials. This marks the first real-world test of a radical refining process, one that ditches toxic acids and instead uses nothing more than table salt and water. The stated target? Enough lithium for 50 gigawatt hours per year, with the ceiling so high it could supply material for over 1 million cars if fully scaled. The next generation? Meanwhile, on the other side of Tesla's battery operation, the 4680 team has been quietly rewriting history. The Gen 2 battery case is lighter, stronger, and ready for true scale. The long-feared bottleneck of dry electrode coating is finally being broken. For years, it was the dream tech that looked good in demos but couldn't be manufactured at speed. Now, Tesla's team says those barriers are being crushed. When clean lithium meets high-speed dry coating, production doesn't just grow. It explodes. And suddenly, 500 cells every second isn't science fiction, it's a reality being built in front of us. The revolution of 4680? Tesla's battery journey has been one of relentless reinvention. The early 1860 cells carried the first Model S and X. Then came the 2170 cells, introduced in 2017, which boosted efficiency and drove down cost for the Model 3 and Y. But Musk wasn't satisfied. In 2020, the world met the 4680, a radical redesign with no tabs, less resistance, and lower production costs. It was supposed to unlock Tesla's $25,000 EV dream. But scaling it proved brutal. Dry electrode manufacturing became a nightmare. Yields were low. Costs were high. And skeptics lined up to declare the project a failure. Yet Tesla didn't back down. And now, with Gen 2 improvements, the tide is turning. The dry electrode bottleneck is finally cracking, and Tesla's promise of mass-scale battery dominance is alive again. Why it matters? This isn't just about cars. Tesla's battery empire is bigger than the auto industry itself. From power walls in homes to massive megapacks stabilizing entire electrical grids, demand for Tesla cells is exploding. To put it in perspective, in 2024, Tesla sold 1.78 million vehicles. That required nearly 7 billion cells. And that doesn't even touch energy storage. By 2026, Tesla's megapacks and power walls could require over 10 billion cells, more than the company's entire EV business. The scale is staggering. And the only way forward is vertical integration. Tesla versus the world. Most automakers are content to buy batteries from suppliers. Tesla is not. It's building its own refining plants, its own facilities, its own breakthroughs. The Texas refinery is the biggest example. But there's also Nevada, the core of battery production. Lathrop, 
California, where megapacks dominate. And a growing shift toward LFP batteries for affordability and durability. This puts Tesla in a unique position. Unlike rivals who wait for shipments, Tesla is locking down the raw materials, refining them in-house, and building a supply chain no one else can touch. Lithium, nickel, cobalt, graphite, Tesla wants control from the ground to the car. A global battle? But this war isn't being fought alone. Tesla's key partners are also its biggest rivals. Panasonic has stood by Tesla since 2010. LG and CATL supply critical cells. And then there's BYD, the Chinese giant that not only provides batteries, but also competes directly in the EV market. Think about it. Tesla and BYD are battling for the crown of global EV dominance. Yet Tesla buys BYD's Blade batteries to power its own models. It's the same strange dance we saw when Apple relied on Samsung for iPhone displays, competing fiercely while depending on each other. The LFP technology BYD pioneered is now inside Tesla cars, lowering costs, extending lifespans, and making affordable Teslas possible. Around 40% of all Model 3 and Y batteries in China are now LFP. The scale of the future? So where does this lead? Tesla has already produced over 100,004,680 cells and is ramping Nevada to 100 gigawatt hours per year. That's enough for 1.5 million vehicles annually. Add in the Texas refinery, the global supply partners, and the upcoming dry electrode scaling, and suddenly the picture comes into focus. By 2026, Tesla could be producing batteries at a pace the world has never seen. Not hundreds per minute. Not thousands per hour. But over 500 cells every single second. The takeaway. This is the hidden side of Tesla. The part most headlines don't cover. While legacy automakers drown in delays and supply chain chaos, Tesla is rewriting the rules at every step, from mining to refining to manufacturing to storage. Elon Musk isn't just building cars. He's building the foundation of the world's energy future. And if Tesla succeeds, the dream of affordable EVs, limitless storage, and a sustainable grid isn't decades away. It's right around the corner. Now, here's the twist. For all of Tesla's breathtaking breakthroughs, the salt and water refining, the dry electrode revolution, the Gen 2 4680 scaling, one truth still stands. Tesla isn't building this future alone. It's still tied to a web of suppliers, Panasonic, LG, Samsung, and more recently, China's EVE Energy. But that dependence is exactly why Tesla is moving at breakneck speed to cut the cord. And nowhere is that battle more visible than deep in Robstown, Texas. Engage the audience. Before we move forward, I want to hear from you. Which detail shocked you most? The kiln already running, the saltwater refining process, or the 4680 dry electrode finally breaking through? Drop your answer in the comments. Let's see how many of us are thinking the same way. Because where we're going next, the Tesla lithium refinery might just change everything you thought you knew about battery supply. Tesla's secret weapon, the lithium plant. So, how close is Tesla's lithium refining plant to unlocking full capacity by 2026? The story in Robstown just shifted from someday to right now. Tesla has already fired up the kiln. It has already produced its very first refined spodumene, a milestone it hit just 18 months after breaking ground. That's faster than almost any lithium plant outside of Asia. Drone footage doesn't lie. Foundations are down. Substations are live. The massive rotating kiln and cooling set are in place. 
production line one is no longer steel and concrete, it's entering real throughput. Production line two is already forming behind it. This is progress at Tesla speed. Securing the supply chain. Why does this matter? Because Tesla isn't just building cars. It's building control over its lifeline, lithium. A resource that every EV maker needs, but very few control. Tesla's target is staggering, 50 gigawatt hours of lithium per year. Enough to fuel the battery needs of well over a million cars annually. If achieved, this plant will give Tesla the one thing no other automaker has, true independence. Think about it. Would you trust your future to suppliers who can cut you off at any time? Or would you rather hold the keys to your own supply chain? Musk's answer is clear. Tesla is building its own empire of raw material control. Hiring, scaling, executing. And the pace of progress shows it's real. Since announcing the refinery in March 2024 and breaking ground in May, Tesla has gone into full ramp mode. 40 plus positions are open right now, from metallurgists to logistics managers. Each one pointing to a plant preparing for high volume throughput. By Q4 of 2024, Tesla proudly announced its first successful spodumene refining run. And the company claims it achieved that milestone faster than any Western competitor. Full operations are set for 2025, paving the way for complete scaling in 2026. And remember, lithium refining is just one piece of the puzzle. The future of batteries is moving in three directions, faster charging, higher density, and longer life. Tesla is already rolling out superchargers with 500 kilowatts of power. That means vehicles like the Cybertruck can charge at speeds once thought impossible. Energy density is climbing, allowing lighter cars with longer ranges at lower costs. And research into million-mile batteries means the cars you buy tomorrow could last a lifetime. On top of that, Tesla is committed to 100% battery recycling. Every lithium-ion battery that reaches end of life will be recovered and reused, ensuring nothing goes to waste. Partners like Redwood Materials are building the infrastructure to make this circular economy real, the US lithium race. And Tesla isn't the only one racing to secure America's lithium future. In Oklahoma, Stardust Power has broken ground on a $1.2 billion refinery capable of producing 50,000 tons of battery-grade lithium per year. Positioned strategically with direct port access, it's set to become one of the largest refineries in the U.S. With Tesla in Texas and Stardust in Oklahoma, the United States is building a battery backbone to rival China's dominance. Add in state and federal incentives worth hundreds of millions of dollars, and the picture becomes clear. This is no longer just an EV story. This is an energy independence story. So if the numbers out of Robstown left you stunned, you're not alone. In less than two years, Tesla has built a refinery that could rewrite global supply chains, lower EV prices, and change how fast the world can electrify. This isn't just about Tesla anymore. This is about your future energy costs, the security of your grid, and the pace of the EV revolution. And trust me, we're only scratching the surface. Because coming up next, we're going to peel back the layers on Tesla's next-generation aluminum-ion battery, a technology that could render everything we just discussed obsolete. So, smash that like button if you found this eye-opening, subscribe to join us on the journey past 200,000 subscribers, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next chapter. Because what Elon Musk is about to reveal may not just shock the auto industry. It could shock the entire world.